All right, ready to go? Yep, I'm in a tree. Oh shit, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were up there. Yep. Oh, what's up, my pal? Tanger Ponzu here, joined once again. Hey, yo, what up? It's BCZ. You know I'm in the heezy, and I'm American, so I like my food greasy. And Ricky Lake is cheesy, and hobos are sleazy, and my favorite item in Super Smash Brothers is a freezy. Freezies are pretty cool. Yeah, I got it. I'm a good... I, I, I'm a rapper. Lay it down, son. I noticed that all my normal intros are really shitty, like I sing like a, like a five-year-old, so <laughs> I feel like I had to rap or something. Had to get some cool rapping action. Why in. are you putting stuff in? We should probably take it out and move it all to the sand vagina. It don't matter. Oh, hey, let's make it daytime to start the video here. I'm going to move everything to the sand vagina. I think, firstly, where did all that experience just come from? Was that you collecting stuff from the furnace? Yes, it was. Let's go run over to the jungle with some axes and collect a bunch of wood so we can build a really nice house. I has no axes. Actually, give me them sticks. You can make one. We got plenty of iron now, right? And Yeah, I got it. I need the sticks. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Oh, I apologize to everyone for the incessant trackpad clicking in the last video. Um, Zach was sitting right beside me, and we had to get him in there somehow, so I had to. Yes, the two of them are using a, a room mic, so you can pick up basically everything. Get off of my computer. It actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, because I didn't watch the video until the until the uh, the comments started rolling in. They're like, oh, the, the the clicking, and I'm like, oh god, it's probably really horrible. I mean, that was like a joke at the end. I think that may have been what people were referring to, because it was so loud when you were jumping up that hole. Yeah, it was, but that, but that was pretty funny though. That was pretty funny. So, to to let everyone know, I just found out that my headset is semi-busted. I have nothing in my left ear, and I'm left ear dominant, so that's even worse. Wait, um, you can't be one ear dominant? Yes, you can. That doesn't even make sense. Yes, you can. I think PC's making stuff up again. I swear, promise you that that is a true thing. All right, let's just keep it to things you know. How about movies? Cocoa beans! Oh my god. Movies are fun to talk about. <laughs> they are. I actually watched, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Money Python the other day. Oh, which one? Uh, Holy Grail. Ah, classic. Oh, I really, they're all classics by now, but that I, one was very good. That's the only one I've seen, and I didn't really get it. Uh, the only one I haven't seen is The Meaning of Life, and I think The Holy Grail was pretty good. Is is The Meaning of Life the one where they, they mock Moses, and he's like, the 15, and he drops one, and he goes, 10, 10 commandments. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen it. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure that's... Somebody confirm that for me. I'm pretty sure that's it. <laughs> that sounds like something they would do. It's... Yeah, it's Moses standing up on... I, I can imagine the joke. Over yeah. the people, and he has three tablets, and he goes, I give you these 15! And he can't hold them, he drops one. He stops and goes, Ten! Ten commandments! <laughs> that's pretty good. That's a math joke! That's classic Monty Python kind of humor for you there. It's just very absurd, very funny. It's a math joke, and there are cocoa beans here. And we can make cookies. You know, actually... Co I, collect uh, some of the cocoa beans so we can grow them or whatever. Yeah, we can. I don't we know can what it takes. Use this, we can use this wood to grow them. If you just place the wood, did you know that? It grows by itself. Yeah, if you just place the piece of wood, not as a plank, but as, as the actual piece of wood. Zach showed me that. Um, he 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 took two pieces of wood and just put them down on the ground. Hey, there's a ravine over here. Oh boy. Hey, it's a jungle ravine. It's a jungle ravine. Oh, it's God. adorable. Who do I sound like? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm. Oh, wow. I almost fell through the earth. I think it works yeah, better for put, baby uh, dragons. If you put. Aww. It's a baby dragon. You're pretty good at that. It's because I'm. I, I do I do good impressions, I think. Should we announce our plan for one of our future LPs? No, no, shh, shh secrets, secrets. Shh. No, it's definitely it's, not I, Mega Man 4. I thought you, <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> well, it was going to throw him off the trail, but now it won't because you just said that. Way to go. 
That's actually really, really ironic because I was watching a video last night on Mega Man 4 or X4 or whatever whatever it is. Is there a Mega Man X4 by now? Apparently. I've never played a Mega Man game in my life. I've played the first one for about half an hour. I tried to do Iceman stage and I died over and over again because I could not figure out how to do the disappearing platforms. <laughs> never played a Mega Man game. I've never played a Metal Gear Solid game. I never played Metal Gear Solid, but I watched my roommate play through the basically the entire plot of MGS3. Have you seen the part in one of them? I'm getting hungry. I got some bread here. <laughs> meet meet me back at the house. In one, I do have three pieces of bread on me, but that's all. That's all the. That's all the food we have to our name since our house randomly disappeared. Yeah, I have three left too, but our farm is growing, so we're okay. Is it okay? And there's one wheat in the chest. There's um. There's a Metal Gear Solid game where Raiden or Raiden or one of the characters, wherever. See, I, I don't even know who that is. He gets well. I technically don't either. I just know his name. I couldn't tell you anything about him. But there's a whoa. There's a there's a spot. There's a part in one of the games where I, I assume he gets like taken hostage or something, and he wakes up naked. Ooh. And you, you play a level where he's he you know cups his junk and and just you know <laughs> goes. Uh, that's pretty funny. And he, he's completely naked. He just cuffs his junk with both of his hands. And you can do flips, too. Naked, <laughs> like naked cartwheel somersault. Oh, I'm sure you're doing lots of flips, weren't you, PC? I've never played it before. You're probably one of those guys who pauses the game on Super Smash Bros. Look up Peach's dress. I've done that. <laughs> I have. That was a long time ago, but I saw her do that one kick, and I was like... Oh, boy. I was like, hey. It took me a few kicks to get like the, the, the view right, but you can do that. <laughs> wow, here it at our was, co-op all peas, we give our viewers some quality information. Hey, it, it was purely for independent research, because I thought to myself, you know, Nintendo, being who they are, I thought there was no way that they would actually, you know... Well, they are a Japanese company, you know. They would put... <laughs> that's true. But I thought, uh, how funny of an Easter egg would it be if they put, like, a thong on her or something? I was hoping she'd have, like, Mario panties or something. That Wouldn't it be funny if they were, like, red with, like, a big M? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be really funny. Like big M granny panties. Yeah, definitely. All right, let's 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 build a home. Come home I to just, me, BC. I was just going to put a, a roof on the sand vagina and call it a day. Well, I think we should make it nice. Let's, let's carve it out and make it kind of squarish, you know? Okay. Rectangular, at least. Fine, we can have nice things. <laughs> Yay! Hmm. Where are you? I don't even see your name tag. I'm in the forest collecting wood. Come on home. Like you told me to do. I have plenty. Is dinner ready yet? Oh yes, I have it here right on top of the crafting table. I could cook it on top of a furnace. <laughs> do you know the recipe for cookies? Because it's... We have wheat and we have cocoa beans, so we should be able to figure it out. I have tons and tons. It's. Um, I think I was mistaken in believing that it had sugar in it. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. It's just wheat and cocoa beans. It's it's three vertical. It's vertical. I mean horizontal, horizontal. It's um. It's I think it's wheat in the middle. It's either wheat in the middle and cocoa beans on each side, or vice versa. It's one of the two. We'll figure it out. So it appears Zach did some make... some renovations for us already back here, and did just dug out some of the sand and put a little staircase oh, you, in the front. Are you working the hoose? Oh, you're talking about Zach's renovation? Yeah, I'm at the hoose. I forget Do you if shovel? he did that on camera or not. Either way. We definitely did not do this on camera. I think I think our peon must have worked this on his own. Uh, yeah, I think he did. He's a high achiever. If anything, he'll watch this and tell us what he I'll leave a comment. When he did it and what he did oh, and how hello. many blocks a, it took. There's a cave underneath our house. <gasps> there is It's a little lake. We could definitely incorporate this to the design. It's a little lakey cave. I'm gonna collect all the resources this time so C O A L. Oh we could we could drain this and make it our part of our It's pre dug, right? Yeah. Alright. Came oh. on. Draining it might be harder than actually digging a new cave. Nope. Oh, boy. <laughs> I am on a mission, and it won't be hard. How much wood do you have? Quite. The chest isn't down here. 
Here, Why I'll... aren't you doing things? We're gonna need another, we need another chest anyway. Let me just make a what second you, one. What have you been doing since I went to collect wood? I collected some wood and I tended the farm. Ah, you're a farm tender. I am a farm tender. Were I were I a disciple in Black and White Two, I would be a farmer. Have you played that yet? Black and White Two? Yeah, I did an entire LP of it. No, you did Blaze Black. Black and White Two is a whole different game. I know, Black and White Two. For okay, we are talking past each other. I don't mean Pokemon. I mean the game where you play you play a god. Black and White 2 is like the name of the game. It's not two games. It's called Black uh, and White 2. It's the sequel to Black and White. And you play a god. And you basically raise up a baby Greek society from their infancy. Uh, hey, come here, BC. I have something for you. That makes so much more sense. I'm not sure if you realize how much sense that makes. I'm coming. I had to go get some stuff from the chest and the thing with the stuff. BC... Make a door. You want some wheat? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here, I got you this. A rose. You know what that means, don't you? Uh, we're engaged now. No. You know what giving a singular rose to someone means? Uh, I don't know, but the Phantom did it in the Phantom of the Opera. Well, okay. Okay. What does it mean? <laughs> You're gonna have to look it up. Oh, come on. He... No, normally what I've heard is that if you give a sing like if I were to go out and give a singular rose to a chick, just one rose, that mean that from what I've heard it means I love you. Oh. There's a chicken. Well, that would be a fair guess, I think. I killed a chicken. Hey, when it becomes daytime, do you want to go check out that ravine? No. Hold I'd like to build a proper house first. Just I'm just just look at it. Well, we can look at it later. I just want you to, I just, just view it with your eyeballs. <laughs> just eyeball view it. Are you in that cave down there? No, I'm, uh, I was. That is not how you make torches. So many chickens. What am I doing? I want shovels. There's so many chickens. I'm going to have, oh, I just got an email on my phone. Are you in here? I'm going to have food for days. Where did you go, BC? I, I don't worry about it. All right. Well, you're not gonna be on camera, so just enjoy <laughs> I, being a I disembodied voice. I teleported. You teleported. And I, I went to go get food for my actual legit house. Wait, I have food. <laughs> I have some food right here, ma'am. I have food too, technically, but these chickens are just like, "Are you the colonel?" And I'm like, "Ha!" with my axe, like <laughs> Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> uh, wow, that's funny. I also saw, have you ever heard of the movie um, Taking of Pelham 123? Yes, I've seen the new version. I watched that as well. That's the one with uh, Denzel. Denzel, Holy yeah. crap. Hey, there's a zombie with gold armor out here. Ooh, kill him. Take his armor. They drop it when I, they die. There's, there's so many mobs out here. It's not f fair. I'm sure. Ow. I, I believe in you, BC. You can do it. I believe I can fly. Gosh, I need too many different different tools here. Oh, I'm getting attacked by a zombie. Oh shit! Two zombies, a, or no, three zombies. One of which in the gold armor, a spider, and a slime at the same time. Do you need a hand? Where are you? No rhyme intended there. I don't know where you are, BC. Oh, it's a creeper. If you were to go straight out of the sand vagina and turn right and cross a little river. A river? Gosh, how far away did you go? Not very far. I just tried to find some dirt. My my original objective was to go find some dirt in order to clog the... Don't, don't be clogging things. <laughs> the, the water. Clog the toilet. My intention was to clog your toilet. Damn it. I killed, them with the, I killed the one with the gold, and I got no armor for it. Really? I could have a pretty princess hat and a gold something, but it had to be stingy and not give me anything. Maybe it's just I just saw a creeper go off. That was me. Maybe I'm I'm setting them off from a distance. Maybe it's just the uh, items they're carrying that they drop when they die. I've killed a zombie with stuff before, Dude. and it's it's dropped uh, Come look at one this. piece of something. Do you see what I'm seeing? There's like this nice square-shaped area here. Yeah. Do you see this? Yes. We could definitely hollow that out, or even build around uh, it. it. It's not ideal because the sand will fall. That's true. 
I honestly like having a little alcove back here anyway. And getting you rid put of... wood in a door on here. I figured the door was a good idea. But there's still an open ceiling. I, it's a work in progress. I didn't have you here to help me. So we're going to get butt-fucked by whatever wants to fuck us. Gosh, Hang this on. language. I, I... Hey, you used to do it all the time. You are one vulgar piece of shit. But then, but then you got kid friendly. Kid friendly. When did I ever get kid friendly? I've actually had people mention like me recently. Paid for anything, or... What's that? I said I don't know. It's not like you're getting paid for anything. That's true. I've not made a single cent for my LPs. Although I should mention that some of my viewers have been kind enough to give me gifts of video games. Yeah. No shit. I got one too. Well, I'm I'm getting one currently. I'm, I'm being currently sent. receiving one. Their hand is extended. Your arm is reaching. <laughs> I am in the process of getting one. It's just in the mail, but yes. Cool. What game is it? Um, Donkey Kong Country Returns. Ah, is that for the? What is that for? Wii. The Wii. Okay. The Wii. <laughs> Wii. The only reason I really want <laughs> to play a Wii is because I want to play Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy Two, and I want to play the Zelda games on the Wii. Other than that, I couldn't care less about the Wii or the Wii U. Hang, I have to hang on. I have to make a Wii U joke. You ready for this? All right. Have, have you you've seen um uh, uh uh Kung Pao, right? Yes. You know um crap. What's her name? Like Ling or something? Sure. The chick. The chick who who talks with a really high voice like this. Oh yes, I know her. The chosen one. You know. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, there's um. You know, you know how she goes, wee, 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 wee. <laughs> when she cries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like Wii U, doesn't it? It does. It does sound I like Wii U. I just went. I just went. I just went to Walmart and bought a Wii U, Wii U, Wii U, Wii U. <laughs> oh God! Doesn't that sound like perfect? That does sound just like her. Walking around in my banana shoes. I knew you were gonna sing that at some point. I have to, dude. I've been listening to that song all day. You've been humming it before the video for like ten minutes too. Well, squish, 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 squish. You see, we we don't see eye to eye on the game grumps, do we? I, and and this is this is no, because I don't consider game grumps to be really Hello. let's plays. Because, you know, they just, they play games to play games, and then they just abandon them after about one episode. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's... It's not really it's, an LP, though, is it? N not in my opinion, no. I mean, stuff, in my opinion, you know, what you and I do is a let's play. What was I making? I'm sitting here on the damn crafting damn. bench. Something. I don't know. What? I had one okay. arrow. But, um, I mean, what, what Poncho and I do are, I picked up the furnace and it's gone. Uh, what the what Poncho and I do are actual let's plays, but they don't really, in my opinion, don't do let's plays because they rarely ever finish a game unless it's really short. And and they do games entirely as jokes, like never intending to finish them, like well, that like that Barbie them. Mario Party game they did. I forget what it was actually called. Barbie Mario? You mean Mary Kate and Ashley? Or yeah, that was it. It was Mary Kate and Ashley. Same thing. Well, but that's I mean that's not a that's in my you know that's not a video game. Come on, that's a that's a joke for. You know, it's that's that's understandable stuff like that. But games that deserve it, and in some cases, games that don't deserve it, they actually do give a decent amount of time. Like what? Well, like as far as I can tell, most of the games they've played have been jokes, like like Sonic 2004 or whatever it is. <laughs> Sonic 06. That's it. Um, not well. They have been doing Sonic 06, but that that one is as a joke. But when it comes to and the Certain <laughs> games that they gave more than one episode to because you know they were actually like legitimate games. Um, they they played maybe a dozen episodes of uh, Link to the Past. Huh. They did several episodes of a Secret dozen? of Mana. Just a dozen. Uh, yeah, they did. They did do seventeen or nineteen episodes of Kirby Superstar. Hmm. Kirby's pretty cool. Which is where the banana shoes thing came from. Certainly. Going squish, 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 squish. Sorry. All right. So, should we talk about movies next, or our personal habits? <laughs> I like how we're going down the line, like like we have this all planned. There out. is no checklist. We were just chatting for a few <laughs> minutes before the video. Right here, before we went, before we started this, I was like, okay, we talk about this or this cactus green. Yeah, how do you like that? I've never seen that before. I didn't know that's how you got Cactus Green. Well, now you learn something. You're becoming a I man. Something today. 
My hand is falling asleep. I have to take my brace off. Squish, 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 squish. I heard that. Yes, it's Velcro. That's for your carpal tunnel? It is. It helps me when I'm playing Minecraft. It keeps me from hurting so much. I'm making mm. cookies, even though they're relatively inefficient as far as food is concerned. Hey, it's just like watermelon. You find... And you see how I'm... <laughs> you see my... Let me be Vanna White for you. Look at my lovely wall of cocoa beans. <laughs> Very nice. See? And that's that's legitimate. Ah, cookies! <laughs> More cookies. Story time, story time. <sighs> what is that from? It's Spongebob! Oh, it's Patrick, okay. I didn't recognize your Patrick voice at first glance. Yeah, remember my 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 Patrick is spot on. It is. It's the episode where they wanted to be treated like adults. <laughs> and they had the sideburns. <laughs> yeah, they put that on the sideburns. That was so great. <laughs> that now was the say, best part of the whole episode. Now say no. The best part of the episode was now say tax exemption. Tax yeah. exemption. Now we must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. <laughs> and they made those poses with their with their. Yes. <laughs> I like the sideburns part the best. <laughs> so they open up the case. Sideburns. <laughs> that is a, that is a rather astute observation on the, on the differences between uh, children and adults. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. SpongeBob was so good before the movie, and then they changed. But the reason it it declined in quality, like I think it did, was because of they. After the movie, they changed production teams or whatever. Mm. They changed they they changed people basically. So that's that's why. Well, you know, that's just how things go. I know, people but come I and go. It. It's I don't ever I haven't I've seen maybe one or two episodes of SpongeBob after the movie, and they're just poopy. Well, part of it is that you ha you have to use up some good ideas to get in the first season to get people interested in your <laughs> show. Well, yeah, but that has nothing to do with them running out of ideas or, or motivation or anything like that. When you watch the old episodes of SpongeBob, you can tell that there are a lot of subtle nuances and there's some subtle humor in a few of them. Oh, yeah, very adult, you know, adult-like humor that just is not present in the latter episodes, and it's just because they kind of dumbed it down for the kids. That's true. It became I, I, that's one of the things I like about kids' shows from previous generations, i.e., people that are like. 25 or older. <laughs> because everything from the 90s, according to you and I, is the best cartoon to ever exist. No, I've, I've seen some cartoons from the 80s, like the old like He-Man and uh, what else? The old Power Rangers were pretty good. Or is that on the border? Uh, no. Power Rangers was mid-90s. Mighty Morphin? Yeah, I pro well, maybe in Japan. I don't know about that. But when it came to the U.S., that was mid-90s. Really? Wow. Okay. Or, or early 90s, but definitely not 80s. Damn, I don't have any... I, I should know all the first season Megazords are about 20 feet below me in the basement right now. Oh, wow. Yeah. You are a I serious I love Power Rangers to death. Okay, well, I shan't speak on that topic for fear of correction. But uh, <laughs> No, I'm just saying, I, I still have all the movies on VHS. Oh, yeah. Either way, I, I don't think the 90s were some like golden era of cartoons. They're just the ones from my childhood. But what, well, I, what I was saying is that there's know. definitely been a change in recent generations where kids' shows no longer have jokes for parents. Like old, yeah. old kids' cartoons, they, they would, and like movies and such from old Disney films and such, they would throw in a joke or two that kids yeah. would not understand. Too subtle, yeah. too adult in its themes, where only an adult listening would, would go, huh, I, I see what you did there. Whereas the kids are like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's good. Is it, I think it makes it easier for parents to watch that sort of thing with their kids without being just completely annoyed. Well, but it was the type of thing where the kid would never really question what they said because it was just so over their head. Yeah, it's like double entendre or something. It's very subtle. It's not, yeah. nothing crude. But that, it, was, it's just, it was well done. It's just like the dick in uh, uh, Little Mermaid. <laughs> okay, that's, a, that's an urban legend, my friend. No, it's true. Look it up. Everybody, go oh, after you get done watching this movie. Go Google image it. Please do not instruct my viewers to Google image <laughs> dick. Okay, I will instruct my viewers to Google. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not telling them to Google image dick. I'm going to tell you to Google image the cover of the Little Mermaid movie. BC. And there, there right is a now, in the it. center of the video, I will put a picture of the cover of Little Mermaid. 
Will you really? Yes, right now. <laughs> have you have you uh have you watched one of my my Shadow of the Colossus where I I put a picture in there? Yes, it was one of your earlier episodes, wasn't it? Yeah, I did it uh on a recent one too. Oh, okay. I'm, I was I'm, talk- I'm I was it. talking about um uh the little girl from Land Before Time. Little girl? Yeah, the girl who played uh the voice of Ducky. Oh, oh, didn't she die? Yeah, she died. And I pointed that out in the video, and I said, as sad as that is, if you go look her up on Wikipedia, her picture, because they usually have uh, pictures of you know people when you look them up on Wikipedia, her picture is not like a photograph. It is a painting or a drawing, and it, you know it's a still shot. It kind of reminds me of like Paula Deen or like Susie Orman or somebody who has just huge eyes and like a a, a uh, I don't know if blaring is the proper word here, but I'm going to use it anyway. A blaring smile, and she's just, you know, her, you know just like, her. look at me, I'm here, you know, kind of like, you, you'll have to see the picture. Okay. Because because you, you've seen Paula Dean, obviously. You know who Paula Dean is. Who? Paula Dean. Oh, right, right, yeah, okay. Gotcha. I know Pokemon was earlier this year, but you can't still have that bad of a memory. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Paula Dean, and then there's there's a there's this lady. Her name is Susie Orman. She's a financial advisor, and I've I know heard that of her. because doesn't she do like a, I, like a like a like a deer who deer so and so series or whatever? I don't know about that. Like right in. I know I know of her because I've seen her books around the house. And from the ones I've seen, they're just uh, on the cover. It's just a picture of her staring at you, just like <laughs> okay. wide-eyed and and just like, ah, how are you? You know, like <laughs> let's learn how to invest money. Exactly, and it's scary. The lady's like, okay, you don't have to look at me like that. <laughs> I was kidding. Please, I, I get it. You want to help me save money, but 